Hey Yachts Costume Jewelers, so I am on my way to the airport to Texas. I had to delay my trip because there's ice there and you don't drive on ice in Texas. Nobody knows how. So we're going to go in this thrift store real quick on the way to the airport and see if we can find anything and I will upload this in just a bit. We're going to see if we can find any purses and jewelry for resale on YouTube and eBay. So they always have jewelry bags in here and I don't buy them because I'm not sure what's in here. I was told by staff that that's just um, stuff that they put in here randomly. It's not things that were for sale. So I'm not gonna buy any of those. Maybe I should at some point and see what's in there. Maybe there's a treasure. So this place is pretty packed today. So we're gonna go to the wall that has the purses and then we'll look at the um, then we'll look at the purses behind the counter. Because you guys know the ones behind the counter. That's a cute small crossbody plaid. The purses behind the counter are the ones that are usually name brand. But you have to. So this is Margot Genuine Leather. Never heard of that brand not going to get it but the purses behind the counter are usually the ones that are um, the more valuable but you can't exclude the wall because you never know what treasures may be hanging on the wall And thank you guys again for the 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate that so much. If it weren't for you guys, I would not have gotten to that point, so I appreciate it. So, I will upload some more videos to while I'm in Texas thrifting I plan to travel also from Dallas to San Antonio next week plan to travel from Dallas to San Antonio next week so I'm going to try to hit some antique stores because you guys know I love to also go to antique stores and I'm going to try to hit some thrifts along that way Now this is a vintage purse, maybe 1950s. Not sure what that says. Not sure what that says, but I'm thinking maybe I should get it. I think I will get that one. That looks like vintage 1950s, I'm not sure of the brand inside, but I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on it. Take a chance on it and get it home. It might be resellable. I don't know. It might be a treasure. I don't know, because I cannot. I tried to zoom in on it, on the title, or the label, to see what it says, and I can't tell.
And just a second before I go up to the um, purses that are behind the counter. Now I have this brand from last a few days ago. It's the, you probably saw it in the video, it's the purse with the um, cars on it. So this right here looks to be new. It has this old tag on it. So we're going to get this one. But again, this is the brand on it. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name. But I do have that same brand. I just showed you I have it. Um, but it was the one when I did the big purse store haul. There was a um, purse in there that had Volkswagen Beetle cars on it. So Volkswagen, that's cute. Had Volkswagen Beetle cars on it. And you guys will probably remember that. It was that same brand. Oh, look at this. don't know if I should get that or not. That's cute. It's new. It's like a hand-stitched crossbody. Cute, but we're gonna pass. Okay, guys, look at this. This is so funny. This is new, still has the tags on it, and it's from Montgomery Ward. Gosh, I think Montgomery Ward went out of business in 1993. We're going to get that for prosperity's sake. Look at this. Isn't that hilarious? And here's a sack. I think this is the sack. Not sack roots. I don't know if I'll get that or not. Kind of the cold purse. So I 
guess the only ones I've got right now, and I don't know if this would sell or not. I don't know, I'll think about that one, I'm not sure. But again, a Montgomery Ward purse, genuine leather. We'll think on this one also as I walk around. Not sure if I'm going to get it, but I will think about it. But I do think I'm getting this 1950s bag. Looks to be in good condition. And let's um, let me just zoom in again on this real quick, and you guys tell me in the comments below if you know what brand this is. I will look at it more when I get home, but we're going to try to zoom in on it really well. But it's hard to read that. I don't know what that says. I'm going to have to look with my loop when I get home. But anyway. It's too cute of a handbag. So we're going to get that one. I'll think about the Montgomery Ward and this other one. So we're going to go up front now and look at the jewelry as well as the purses behind the jewelry. So that necklace there is paparazzi with the tassel. I like the rose necklace here. So I'm probably going to get that um, one. I'm going to try to get through. And then the butterfly necklace is cute too, so I'll probably take a look at both those and probably get them. If I can find someone to help over here, it's pretty busy today. So they're very busy today. That blue necklace is really pretty. So the blue necklace is really pretty. This right here, this red one with the faux pearls is pretty. That looks like cloisonne. cloisonne. And there's a tiger eye in the back. I'm trying to see what the brand is on that. Is I'm I cannot tell what that brand. There it is, Robert Rose. Give me a minute, I'll let you in. So I'll take this one. These are real glass. So I'll take that one. Thank you. They have a few good pieces today. A few good pieces. So we're going to check out several. I really like this tiger eye. It's a gold tone bracelet here at the back. I mean necklace at the back. Oh, wow. 
Look at these earrings. These are clip on. It's already one kill be open. No. The lady standing right here with the pad is So I'm gonna get these. Has a windmill on them. I don't know what this is. It's kind of amber like, but it's not amber. They're lightweight. So they're acrylic. Look at the beads, how those are. Let's see if it has a mark on it. Has an N, and I'm thinking this might be Napier. See if you can see it. So it has an N. You can see the detail of the beads right there. So I will upload this at the airport. But look at those beads. So I'm going to get that one. That's Napier, I think. We will take a look at the purses after the jewelry, too, but I'm not finished looking at jewelry yet. But I've got my eye on that purse right there. I don't know what brand that is, maybe Brighton, but not sure. Those people should know that. Most places you have to be let in. I'll take that one. All right, thank you. Let me know if you keep something else now. Take that one. So you've been here all day. No, so far. I did you. Listen. You know it was a bright and bracelet up there. Where? It's, they sold it. It was it was a bright and bracelet. We had it for twenty six dollars. Really? The lady ended up buying it for another lady because she was a cancer survivor for twenty six years. Oh wow, that's meant to be yeah. for her, wasn't it? Yeah. I kind of like this one, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm liking the beads on it. I'm liking that bead on it a lot. So it's like a... But I don't think I'm going to get that, and I think I'm going to pass on it. So everything that you see in this video that I'm getting is right here. I won't do a recap at the end. This is another This is another one of those with the N on it. So I'm thinking this is maybe. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping that's Napier. I'm not sure. That's a great necklace. I'm going to get that one. I may take a look at the beaded necklace there and this blue and clear one that's kind of cool looking if it's glass if it's acrylic I may not get it but I do want to look at it but I'm hoping that's glass and then you have this one right here and that's a pretty necklace and then look at this one also I may take a look at it also, too. So this store is a pre-recorded video always because if you do a live in here, it's pixelated. Always pixelated. Look at these earrings. Look at these. Thank you.
Those are nice. Mm -hmm. Joan Rivers. So this is a Joan Rivers necklace. I'll take that one. And these are acrylic, they're not glass. I don't know, we're gonna pass on this one. It's pretty though. You need to go let them in. No, she already, somebody just left. It's pretty, but I'll pass on it. So these are acrylic. These are not glass. I wish they were glass. I think that'd be a beautiful, it is a beautiful bracelet regardless, but I'd rather have glass. So let's look and see. Let's look and see if there's anything over in this area. And then we'll look at the silver and gold case, because they have silver and gold that they keep separate from everything else. I'm excited about that Joan Rivers necklace I just found. This beaded necklace is great. I don't know if those are real rocks on there or not. Not really seeing anything else that I'm interested in looking at. Now this beaded necklace, I don't know, the clasp on it looks good. It's the black beaded necklace there. I'm gonna check and see if those are real or if they're acrylic. I don't see a designer mark on them. So here's all their sterling and gold selection. So they always keep all their sterling and gold separate. So we're going to look at using this camera is awesome because I'm able to look closely at everything. I love this necklace right here. Just gotta get a Someone's manager. Gotta get a manager for that. So look at that coach right there. This lady's definitely working hard today. So I may not pull all of these purses, but I'm gonna pull a few. That Brighton was too much for resale. I'll take a look at that coach right there. I'm here. <laughs> this is a nice small coach. This is Rebecca Minkoff. nice one a little bit on the handles I'll take that one 
Pass on that. This is Brighton. It's a green crop. I'll take that one. Here's a Brighton briefcase. Great condition. I've never seen a Brighton briefcase briefcase before. So you have the I think they call it tick stripe or something. I can't remember. I remember the old pillows. This has no brand. I'll pass on it. Pass on that one. Pass on that one. So we're nearly done, but I'm going to take a look at this gold filled necklace right here. And I'm going to take a look at this one right here. So I'll take that one. I guess that's it for me. It is pretty, but I think I'll pass on it. Yeah, I think. So two more guys. So the necklaces you saw in the video that I bought those. So I'm not going to do a recap at the end. I thought those were roses, but they're not. I am going to get that one though. So I'll take that one also. Okay. So all that you saw in the video is what I bought, and these are the only two purses from the wall. So that's it guys. So until the next live sale or video, we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.